I think like a dog brings, you know, it's sort of what in this movie kind of a, you know, that, that sort of being kind of in the now. and But, I mean, the best qualities that dogs have are, you know, loyalty, loyalty and, and unconditional, unconditional love. love. Well, I think the main one is is about living in the moment. And I enjoy life while it's happening because, as with, you know, with Marley, you love love this animal so so deeply as a member of your family and they don't get to stay around very long so you know life is it's to be seized because Marley's really rambunctious and he's out of control so the dog was encouraged to be that way but even you know having kind of set that sort of tone one time, he kind of spontaneously lifted his leg, and Matilda, the dog trainer, kind of was like, no, and the yeah. director was like, yes, <laughs> let him do it. And, um, and It then, was in perfect timing, too. I mean, this dog, perfect. it was impeccable timing. Yeah. She finished her last line, which was, that's not a dog that's evil with a dog face. And here's and what I think lift. of that. Um, but then they had to bring another dog in. Because they wanted they to recreate it. Yeah. And Who's that, trained that, to lift his leg. Yeah. They had a dog for everything. Yeah. yeah. They had the dog for humping. The humping. They had the dog for peeing. They had the dog for the less, you know, the calmer Marley. Yeah. The, yeah, the super, one. absolutely out of control Marley who, who, was, who was attached to the table at the, during the montage and just takes off running. Well, table. that wasn't Clyde? No. That was the one who was the beastly one, beastly one who was able to undo his own crate. Really? He's crazy.